here are the nine hacks that you need to get your channel monetized. At number one, you're gonna wanna make sure that your video is well lit. Nobody wants to watch a dark video. What's great about this particular hack is that it's very easy to fix. You can either get yourself a nice cheap ring light online or any sort of directional lighting. But if you're on a tight budget, you can use lighting software like Lumetri Color for Adobe Premiere Pro users, or you can use any kind of color grading software that even DaVinci Resolve might have. Or even just by adding simple elements like subtitles or branded elements on screen that you can make much brighter. But if your shorts are already well lit, you can actually increase the brightness or turn up the light on your intros to make them pop off the screen a little bit more when they're placed in the shorts feed between two darker or less well lit shorts. So at number two, you're gonna wanna make sure you add as much intrigue as possible to your shorts titles. I've seen so many shorts that completely give away what's gonna happen in the short and they kind of take away what's interesting about the short. It's like watching a movie where the title gives away the entire plot or a huge piece of the story. For example, they called it Avengers Endgame, not Avengers Iron Man Dies. So what you can do instead is take the most interesting piece of the short and you can try to describe it in the most vague way possible. Then you can use that as the basis for what your title is going to be. For example, instead of I gained 10,000 subscribers in one week by making longer shorts, you can try huge sub jump in one week. Here's how. Though many people will still watch the video with the first title, many other people will actually just take that information and they'll run with it. The second title, however, will leave the viewer refusing to swipe away because they want to get all that rich information. Number three is by far the easiest and most low effort hack to double your engagement on your shorts. All you need to do is reply to every single comment and try as hard as you can to get a back and forth going within your comment section. This will not only at least double your engagement, but it'll also create more engaged viewers and build a sense of community around your channel. YouTube considers every like, dislike, share, comment to be engagement on your videos. And the more engagement a video gets, the more YouTube uses that as a signal to let the algorithm know to keep showing your content to more and more people. If people enjoy your content enough to comment, they'll be thrilled to find out that you, the creator, responded to their comment, and you're going to elicit all sorts of positive emotions, which will likely earn you a subscriber and a loyal new viewer moving forward. I've already spoken about number four in a recent short of mine because it's so important to keep your viewers engaged and that's to create subtitles or captions. So many people, likely including yourself, watch shorts, reels, TikToks, any sort of short form content with the sound off. Now, not only do captions make your content easier for those with the sound off to figure out what's going on, but you can also make your captions way more recognizable with your own color scheme and font. They also just look really nice and they distract the viewer from swiping away from your content. It's unfortunate, but in today's day and age, you need to add lots of moving pieces to maintain the viewer's attention. There are so many really easy ways that you can add captions to your shorts. You can use Captionator, CapCut, Premiere Pro, and Divi Vinci Resolve, just to name a few. At number five, we have creating a multiple part series, which can be used in a couple of different ways. You can either start off with a really good series idea, or you can take one of your most successful shorts, make a part two, and if it receives similar viewership and engagement, make a part three, and so on. This not only helps you come up with a great title that's already worked, but it helps you bring back content that you know viewers have already enjoyed in the past. So at number six, we've got the recipe to virality, which is to get on to the most trending niche specific topics as soon as possible. If you pay attention, you'll notice that most of the hugely viral shorts are based on trending topics or trending formats. I've mentioned in a previous video that one of the best ways of getting ahead on trends is by using Google Trends. With Google Trends, you can type something related to your niche in the search bar and then look for the breakout topics or topics that are on the rise. And now the beauty of shorts is that you can jump onto any trend in just a matter of minutes. Number seven, we have another super easy one, which is just to avoid posting all of your shorts in one go. It's important not to overload your audience with three shorts per day. Instead, focus on quality and then just schedule them out. One thing I would suggest though, is that if you catch a trend early on, don't schedule that video out post it right away. Now at number eight, it's gonna require a little bit more reflection and introspection to figure out what makes you stand out in this sea of competitors. You'll need to find out what it is about your content, your personality, your environment that makes you stand out and more unique and watchable. Once you figure that out, you're gonna wanna take it and then lean into it. It'll not only make your content way more interesting, but it'll make it more recognizable so when people swipe into your short, 
they can instantly recognize your content. And if they enjoyed it previously, they'll most certainly stick around until the end. It can also be a quick and easy way for a new potential viewer to latch on and become a new subscriber and loyal fan. Finally, at number nine, just like long form content, you need to add pattern interrupts. As I mentioned before, people's attention spans have dwindled tremendously. And if you're not changing the scene at least every seven seconds, you're gonna lose viewers. Now, I myself would go as far as to say you should change the scene every four seconds or so during shorts because it's a much more vicious arena to try to attain the viewer's attention. As you all must be aware of, the viewer literally has their thumb over top of their phone ready to swipe away from your content if you haven't signaled their brain to release any dopamine yet. Now take these hacks, go out there and get yourself the views that you deserve. As always, keep on creating.